The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I think we're going to do this by telephone for a while here, and then we will uh, – I'm doing this by phone instead of by Skype. I'll re redo the Skype thing when we come on. Uh, hopefully, we'll have David Paul as our guest, Dr. David Paul, at 930. He's a mathematician and psychologist who helped uh, – I'm old uh, Tom Hugard, and he's uh, he's quite he's very entertaining and super nice guy. So hopefully we'll have him at 9:30. Also, uh, Tom is going to uh, be a regular guest for us, folks. I'm going to have him on probably every couple weeks, I think, for you know 20 minutes or so, and he can give me some things about the psychology that he works on. And he spends a great deal of time with the psychology. When he came here to visit me several times, he was. Um, of course, Mark was working in the office here with us, and so he became very close with Mark and also Paula, and so he uh, really got involved in the psychology part of this and went and spent time with some of the other famous psychologists here uh, in the United States and then developed some of his own stuff. But uh, he's, uh, he's a really nice guy, and hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Uh, he did offer a book. If you want it, it's hello at tradertom.com. And uh, he will. He tells you pretty much what he does, and um, but he's a does a great job. Anyway, let's uh, move on here and talk about a couple of things. That dollar index has held uh, that major major support that we were looking at. We've had a nice rally off of it, but not much. I mean, it's still in the ballpark here where it can go either way. No question about it. So we'll watch that, uh, you know, very very closely too to see if that's going to uh, to hold up pretty uh, pretty nicely. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. Now we want to cover some of the things that we usually look at here. We'll start off with the uh, German DAX here this morning. This is the uh, daily chart. I'll run through these charts because they're uh, really quite nice. You can see we've made that uh, three drive to a top pattern, but we also have that potential for an expansion up there to the 11, 13,000 area. So it could easily do that without uh, any trouble at all. If we take a look here at the FTSE, let's just get this up here, and you'll be able to see it. pretty much uh, the same thing, only looks like a Boris. Uh, uh, they, the, his nickname over there is Boris Slippery Pig Johnson. I think that's, a, that's not, not a very good uh, nickname for someone, but they call him that because he always gets in and out of things without any trouble. So <laughs> I, I don't know, but boy, I tell you, that their, their political environment is about as messed up as ours is, and that's saying a whole lot. So... We'll uh, take a look at some of these other charts instead of talking about politics, which is a, which is a total pain in the neck. I wanted to bring to your attention um, a couple of them here. Uh, this is the German Bund. Uh, remember, we've been talking about waiting for this rally here in the, the Teflon Boris. That's about right, Marshall. Hold on a second. Get this up here. You'll be able to see here, this is the German Bund. Uh, it's completing that little Gartley up here at the... 78% level. We're finally getting, we finally got a rally going here over the last four days in these bonds and notes. So they'll be able, they'll be able to find out. Uh, uh, I don't know, Jim. I don't think I'd put him in the same class as old Slick Willie, but you know, maybe so. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the minds of men? Um, all right, uh, let's move on here to the old natural gas because we've had that pretty nice move here in this natural gas. Uh, we got up to the uh, to 230, which is good. And so if we can uh, get above that 230 level, we've got a pretty good chance of uh, moving it to the upside. So we'll watch that as we walk through uh, this morning as we look at some of these other charts. Um, I will. I do want to mention someone, several people asked me, by, well, several, two. Two people asked me about the uh, work that I did on uh, Apple, and uh, I'll just bring this up again to show you because I think it's that important. Uh, you'll notice here the Apple uh, had the multiple ABCD patterns. There's also a three drive to a top that you can see very clearly. 
from the end of the July to early September to where we are now. Uh, that uh, red line up there, folks, that ABCD line came in at uh, 242. A high yesterday was a 241.96. It closed at uh, 239. It'll probably be up a little bit today, but um, that that was a pretty good number. But that that's not the important thing. I think the important thing is is what these what these look like on a longer term basis. If we look at Apple here on this uh, weekly chart, you know it it also is a, just an absolute perfect pattern, folks. If you like patterns, they don't get any better than this. And if you think that uh, that Apple doesn't work off Fibonacci numbers and patterns. Here's the here's the long term. This goes back over the last seven years, and you'll be able to see all of the patterns that are there, all of the ABCD patterns. Uh, you'll notice that the first one uh, stopped in 2013 in May at the 78% level. You can see the ABCD at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back, and uh, I'm, Tom Hugard is trying to call in, Al, so try to answer the phone, because he's going to try to connect to see if we can uh, uh, clear up some of the problems that we're have, uh, we have with him. So if, if Tom is in there, uh, connect to us and see how, see how the connection is, because yesterday we had a lot of complaints about the quality of the sound, and I could hear it, too. It was scratchy, echoey, racked. You know all the stuff. Oh, good, good. You get you're in touch. Okay, let's move on, and we'll get on to touch with uh, these phones here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Have to love the technical pictures when you go through all of these things. Um, 
the uh, get into the gold market here. We're still in this area in the gold. We'll bring this up so you can take a quick look at it. Uh, you'll be able to see it here, and uh, you'll be able to see here that we there's possibility we could get up here. We've got we've been as high as uh, that high last night. We got to uh, 1498 again. So whether that gets through there up to the 1505, it's either here or there. We're trading at 1496 right now, but that's what it looks like it wants to do. Whether it does it or not you know, remains to be seen. So we will uh, keep a close eye on that. I'd like to report something, though, that I think looks really interesting, folks. We have been, uh, you know, working with this trial thing with the uh, folks here at TFNN on a trial basis to see how the uh, this artificial intelligence program has been uh, working. And we've had some uh, pretty good luck yesterday. It was just an absolute perfect day. It lined up uh, everything really nicely, and it was uh, quite nice. In fact, one of the ones that... Uh, caught a lot of people well let's just do we'll do the uh, we'll do the stock market one first and then you'll be able to see that uh, this is what happened now I don't don't ask me to be involved in this folks because I've already got the, the the few people that I wanted to try this out on just to see how it works but that was the S&P and of course uh, here was the gold uh, the uh, uh, the crude oil, I, uh, for some reason, I can't find the crude oil one, but they did. The reason why I'm bringing this up, folks, we're doing a great deal of research trying to figure out some of these things for longer time frames. And I want you to see this one. This was the one from last night uh, that was uh, w that was quite interesting. Uh, it was a culmination of yesterday and last night. But let me get this up here so you can take a look at it. What we did is we extended it out from two minutes to 10 minutes. And you'll see all those little wavy lines in those. Those are just the different time frames that we're putting in to get to that spot. But uh, the the first first run of it looks really interesting. So my game plan is if this works out for the next month and uh, these folks can use it, and uh, then we're going to offer it here at, uh, at TFNN would be my guess. So we'll, we'll see if it does. But right now, it's only for day trading, folks. It's not for anything other than that. So pay close attention to it because, uh, you know, we might uh, – it might be, you know, coming out in the future. Who knows or not? Now, the crude oil market. The crude oil market is still under pressure, folks. This thing should be going up, and it's not. That's a very, very bad sign. You know, we've got this Aramco deal coming up in a few weeks, and they want to get oil above $60 a barrel. They can hardly give it above 54 So that's not a good sign. This market is not bouncing off those lows like you should. When you usually make a cycle low, you have a pretty good move off the bottom. So that's... Uh, that's the main thing. Someone asked a question. Uh, who, who, who did we? Who did I introduce Tom Hugard to over the years? I just about everybody. <laughs> uh, uh, it was just, it was really just about everybody. But I we went to see just about everyone. I think. My goodness, I don't think we missed anybody. But. Um, yeah, well, we had a lot of fun anyway. We saw, well, just a whole lot of folks. But Tom's a really nice guy, and he's super humble, which is good. And David Paul is the same way. Well, David will be on here in about eight minutes, and hopefully we'll be able to chat with him about some of the things that he helped Tom with because uh, it was a uh, it was certainly a big help, you know, for him. Um, I, we've already talked to folks. The natural gas looks really good. All we need to do is get it above uh, 235 today, and it could be on its way. We, we held the two. 225 level. We went down a little bit below it, 222. So it's acting pretty nicely so far. So uh, pay pay close attention to that. Another one that we uh, worked on that's uh, still working, but 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 not very well. I mean, it's still up a you know a few hundred dollars, and that is this uh, this Canadian dollar. Uh, this is uh, held up relatively well. Your your risk on that Canadian dollar trade now, if you happen to be in, it should only be about 150 dollars, folks. That would be the max that you would want to risk. You wouldn't want to risk any more than that because that is the, uh, it should stop right there. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't think it would be uh, any good at all. The, the bond, the, uh, how, how far are the bonds going to rally? Folks, I don't know, but nobody else does either. Remember, we had a big move up in that thing, and yet when it's when it came down, we've been down here now for uh, eight or nine days, and the market won't rally very much. That's telling you that interest rates have a tendency to go higher, not lower, just totally the opposite of what they're telling us in the uh, 
in the news. And that's that's not a good sign. So uh, let's remember that. That's very important. Whether that relates to the U.S. dollar or not, I'm not sure, but nobody else is either. I'm just looking at the charts. That's really all I'm looking at. There's nothing else uh, more than that. Now, there's another, uh, someone brought a real interesting chart to my attention, and I updated it this morning, and that is uh, for the Christmas corn, the December corn. Uh, uh, what is the 135 on uh, 60 minute, uh, Marshall? I, uh, uh, okay, the, Terry's just posted the link to the uh, Tom Hugard video, which is good. I That's not the video. Oh, for the Canadian dollar. Yes, it is. It is a 135 on a 60 minute. So that's acting pretty good, too. Let's move up to uh, take a look at this uh, corn because. Uh, we were in an area here around this uh, two, 382 level in corn that December corn should hold 382 if it's any good at all. Now, remember, in the soybeans, we completed major ABCDs up there, and it's backed off about 18 cents from that high. So that tells you that that ABCD was, uh, you know, pretty much spot on. And if you'll also remember, you know, we were talking about the uh, the soybean oil, that December soybean oil, and there was one that you could almost write a textbook about about too because we went exactly up to the uh, that 3090 level and we we turned down quickly so uh, it's only down $300 from the high but you know it's at least it's these patterns are lining up pretty nicely so that's the the main thing to uh, pay attention to um, people have asked me about the Brexit thing and what I think will happen folks <laughs> I have no idea all I know is that back in January June of, uh, of 2017 when the when the pound was at 150, uh, it, it was completing all kinds of patterns up there at 61% retracements of previous highs, ABCDs, and it said to go short into that Brexit vote, and uh, the vote was supposed to be nine to one. Uh, to stay in, and it just reversed. It went the other way, and that's what caused that monster move. When you have these, that's what's happening. Now, if something happens really crazy with this, and I don't know if it will or not, there's a possibility that, that we've talked about here that we could make 134 in the British pound. There's a possibility of that. Now, whether it happens or not, no one knows, but you know what I say. You know, no, one, no one knows for sure anyway. So we'll pay a close attention to that as we look at some of these charts, and then hopefully Al will have uh, Mr. Dr. David Paul on the line, and we'll be able. There's David with his Mr. Google. Boy, I tell you, David, you one smart puppy. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't 
miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, folks, we thought we had Dr. David Paul on the line, but as the technical gods are not smiling on me today. We have lost him somewhere in inner space, so we'll uh, keep a close eye on that. Mr. Z, I have just posted for you the chart of the nearby copper, my friend, and uh, we have uh, come up against some 78% resistance, as you can see, by taking a look at it. It uh, needs to get about three cents higher before it breaks out, so I would be a uh, be careful in here because it hasn't really uh, taken out that 78% level, and it could at any moment, of course. But uh, the fact that that 78% level held it uh, so strongly to the downside, and the trend is certainly down, uh, well, longer term, I guess. Anyway, that's that's my two cents worth, my friend. I'm not involved with it, so my opinion means what you pay for it, which is a little less than two cents. So let's uh, remember that. Uh, rather rather important to do that. Folks, some people have asked me questions about liquidity of some of these markets uh, that we trade. And uh, there's, you know, there's been a lot of things uh, published about this stuff over the years. Uh, commodity stocks and commodities magazines always gives uh, the futures liquidity. But some of the better ones are, you know, are the S&P 500, the 10-year note, uh, crude oil, the Russell, uh, you know, the, the Dow Jones E-mini is down there quite a ways, but uh, there's, you know, natural gas is pretty good. But uh, just remember that uh, these things, uh, uh, they trade electronically now, so there's really no pit trading at all anymore. So when you're trading, you're trading against yourself. When you look at that machine, uh, that machine is a mirror, and it's going to mirror any of the psychological imperfections that you might have. And I know all of us have those. The $64 question is, how often do they raise their, you know, raise their head? If you remember yesterday when Tom was on, he said the one thing that you absolutely cannot do if you're trading, and that is to add to a losing position. He makes all of his money, folks, by adding to winners, and he adds heavily. When a, when a trend starts, he, he gets on it, and he rides that puppy until it's uh, <laughs> till that horse is out of the stable, if you, if you can get my drift. So that's what he really does. So, you know, he's, uh, if you get his book, you'll read it, and you'll see what he's done, but he's been just been incredibly successful successful. Uh, in fact, uh, I have to put him in the same category as Amos Hostetter and uh they're my good friend from the Super Traders Almanac, and I wish I could remember his name. I'm sitting here looking at it right now, <laughs> and uh, by Frank Tauscher, and uh, I uh, he's definitely in that. Um, he he 
uh, he adding he doesn't add he adding to a losing position. Oh my gosh! Let me let's go through. That's a really good question you're asking here. The question is how does adding to a losing position different from dollar cost averaging? There is no difference. That's exactly what adding to a losing position is. Dollar cost averaging. Now. You know, people will say that's the, in, a, in a big mar bull mark, big bull market like we've had since 2009. It certainly, uh, you know, it uh, it may be uh, uh, it may be okay. But what he's saying is, and folks, I can tell you this right now. The no and I've been trading for 60 years. The number of times that I've added to a loser and have made money on it, you could count on one hand. And I'm talking five fingers. I mean, and, and I, I don't think I have to use four of those figures. I don't ever remember it. I remember. I, I don't ever remember it at all. I remember walking around the lake at Westlake Village in the 1973. No, seven, it was 74 when I was on the debt, when the market had already turned on me, and I didn't know it. I'd still had a huge amount of capital, and I had a wheat position on that I was out about 20 cents, and uh I, I I I bought some more because oh it looked like a great buy you know it was right at an 18 day cycle and I bought it and so I doubled my position in the wheat and boy for three days gosh did that look good boy how smart I was and I was now back into a big profit and then the next day the news came out it took out those lows and wheat kept dropping and dropping and dropping and what did I do I was sitting there with my hands on my uh, on my buttocks not doing anything and that's what uh, cost it uh, dollar cost Cost average is for stock. You could do it also for futures too, uh, Marshall. I don't think there's any difference because it's just an asset. So I'm sure you can do dollar cost averaging, averaging for futures. I think the guys at the uh, uh, the turtles did that for a while. Once they well, the, once those four week moving average things turned, you know, and those things worked for a while. I, I don't know if there's any turtles still around or not. But uh, and I don't even know what happened to Richard Dennis. I, I don't know if he's still alive or not. I haven't heard from him in 25 years. I don't really know. This is a very pleasant day here in Tucson for us. We have some of our very dear friends from Palm Springs, California, coming in to visit us. Peter and Linda, and we had dinner with them last night, much like we do with you, Marshall, when you were here. And Peter comes in every couple of years for a little reboot, just to sit here and chat and see the markets. But he's a very successful businessman that also trades. He's getting into that retirement age, and he wants to uh, wants to start trading more actively and with more with more size. So I'm going to try to uh, give him an idea of what Tom's doing on some of these things to get a better idea. All right, let's move on here and take a look at a couple more charts. Someone's asked a question here uh, about the Canadian dollar trade. Uh, I'll bring it up for you, folks. I, I don't know what else to say other than this is where we were on uh, this is where we were last week, waiting for it to come down. And we got down to uh, 3070, 13070. We're uh, trading above that right now, and so that's uh, something to uh, take a look at. So yes, gold is in a really tight move here, and if we can get gold up, uh, in fact, it's. Uh, hold on, just a second here. Let's get this puppy moving. Yeah, that gold is moving nicely. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're danging in there. All right. Yep. Yeah, that gold's doing okay. Yep. Gold's doing night. We just took out that. Watch uh, 15, 1503 in the gold, folks. We might get up there at around 1503 in the gold. It would be very interesting to see if it can, uh, you know, to get into that, uh, in get into that ballpark or not. So we'll pay uh, pay close attention to that as we look at that this morning. As a matter of fact, uh, just for just for little kicks and giggles, I'll just bring this up here and uh, show you what. Uh, Show you what I was looking at for for this morning. Let's just get this up here, and you think artificial intelligence sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But today's one of those times. I ended up buying the darn thing here just a minute ago, and it's uh, put that up here so we can see it. That we should go up until 12:30. So watch 12:30 if you're uh, if you're home watching these things, you'll get a pretty good idea of what uh, you know what what's going on with uh, some of these uh, charts that were paying attention to uh, each day. Okay, let's see what else someone else. No other questions today. Boys and girls, it would really help the old cowboy if you if you throwed some stuff out in my area about what um, 
uh, what you'd like to see and stuff. You know, we, we miss Dr. David Paul today. We'll get him back on that. That's for sure. But platinum, Mike, I don't know what's going to happen to platinum. It don't look very good to me, but I'll just, just get that, get it up here and take a look at it for you because it just doesn't want to get moving very much, buddy. I, I thought it would be, uh, I thought it'd be flying like we got here. Let's get, uh, oh, good, good. We got Dr. Dave will be back with us uh, at the break, which will really be good. That'll turn out to be pretty good. Uh, okay, someone asked a question about the Bitcoin, but where I think it's heading, lower. <laughs> If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and I think we have David Paul on the line. Doc, are you there? Yes, Larry, I'm here. How are you, sir? I am very good. I have told the folks a little bit about you, but uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us, uh, I know you're a major uh, proponent of VectorVest, which you showed us in London, which was great, but tell us a little bit about yourself, and then when we're done with that, I'd like for you to tell the folks how you turned uh, Thomas into such a super trader, because the people in London <laughs> really loved that. I mean, uh, it was really well, amazing. I think, I think Go ahead. Tom did you most of that himself, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. He gives yeah. you too much credit for that. Go ahead, my friend. Uh, 
All right. Well, uh, uh, folks, I've been uh, I've got a PhD in mechanical engineering. Well, PhD in mathematics, first degrees in mechanical engineering. Uh, prior to that, I was a Royal Marine officer, uh, and uh, I went to South Africa in 1981 uh, from London to play rugby, to play professional rugby, and. Uh, uh, I worked for De Beers, the diamond people at the time, and uh, I was billeted into an office with an old fellow uh, who was something, doing something very strange every morning. Every morning by hand, he would update 50 or 60 shares that he was following on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, and he was making good money. He was trading primarily technically, uh, and uh, uh, I started to do the same, and I put on my first trade in uh, October. 1982. I traded while working at De Beers until uh, 1988, uh, and then I cut the corporate umbilical cord, and I've been trading on my own ever since. Uh, uh, over the last, uh, I think, for the first 20 or so years, Larry, I was purely a technical trader, uh, and uh, I did my best to try and keep the fundamentals of the stock market under control using William O'Neill's uh, Canslim methodology, but I didn't have the skills, uh, and I didn't have the time, and I didn't have the inclination. So in the first years, I traded pretty much just technically and did fine. And then I tripped over the Vector Best program about 10 years ago that does all the fundamentals for you. Uh, and I originally uh, represented Vector Best in South Africa. And uh, then they asked me, uh, we built it up, my son and I built it up from nothing in South Africa, and they asked me to do the same thing in the UK. So three years or so uh, ago, I came home to London, uh, and uh, I've been working with retail traders here in London, uh, showing them how to actually put uh, technical analysis together in uh, the very, very best shares, shares that are growing their earnings uh, strongly. And, uh, and safely. So uh, that's what I'm uh, doing these days. I've managed money professionally in South Africa for quite a long time. Uh, but at the moment, my objective, sir, is to be making a good, in my dotage, to make a good living out of uh, swing trading in the stock market. Uh, and uh, I, I day trade when I feel like it. I day traded yesterday. I, I'm, uh, I'll see what I feel like this afternoon. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold on me today. And as I think, as you know better than anybody, you've got to be uh, uh, feeling good uh, to take the people on in the afternoon. So, well, that, or afternoon, your morning, should I say. So I've been in market since uh, 1982. Uh, I've done training for pretty much all the banks around the world, uh, especially in Southeast Asia, all over Africa. Uh, if you can find some, uh, any small little place in Africa, I haven't been there, I'd be surprised. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Tom came to one of my seminars way back in, uh, it was in Johannesburg. Uh, 10 or 12 years ago, and uh, we struck up a friendship, and we worked together at the Which Way Today live trading room for a long time. We nearly killed ourselves in there. Uh, <laughs> I uh, remember. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, and uh, at the moment, I'm quite happy uh, uh, to try and uh, focus on making a really good living trading markets on my own, okay? Uh, so that's what I do. Uh, so, uh, I, 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 I put together a, can you see the slide, Larry? Uh, I don't know if we can or not. I think Al will be able to tell us if we can or not. Yeah, he does see it. Yep. We, uh, I think, well, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the reason, we can see it. The reason right that, uh, the reason that, uh, the, the slide is entitled, why is this so darn difficult? Uh, and, uh, uh the reason is, uh, these clusters that we have now, uh, if you've got a trend following system, you, f you mentioned the turtles a moment ago, the breakout system, any breakout system or simple moving average crossing system, you're going to be really lucky if you've got a 50% hit rate. Uh, depends very much where you put your stop. It depends very much, I know, where you, in fact, uh, uh, put your target. Uh, but if you've got a uh, trading system that makes more when it's right than it loses when it's wrong, a positive expectancy system, uh, as a trend follower, you're going to be really lucky if you're right half the time. That means that uh, you get a bad one every two trades. And uh, as I've got in the slide there, you get six, you get four bad ones in a row every 16. Uh, five bad ones in a row every 32 trades. That is a mathematical certainty. Mm -hmm. And 
if you in fact are dumb enough to bet 20% of your kitty on any one trade, you go bankrupt every five. How is that? So, so and 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 many people, of course, do this, uh, and uh, I see it all the time. I see it all the time. So, uh, at Vectorvest here in the UK, I spend, I would think, about half my time reinforcing position sizing, uh, and uh, talking and talking about uh, Ralph Vince and Ralph Vince's work. Uh, did you know Ralph Vince? Uh, yes, of course that. I do. Yes, uh, he's yeah. a nice fellow. Yeah, very bright yeah. fellow, of course. Yeah, very bright fellow. That's for sure. Uh, now, uh, if you can push your hit rate up a little bit uh, to 66 out of 100, in other words, you're wrong uh, one out of three. Uh, you only got to handle five clusters in a row, five bad ones in a row every 250 trades. And uh, if you can, uh, pr if you can uh, sort of push your hit rate up. Uh, to mystical levels, 8 out of 10, then you only have uh, to handle 5 bad ones every 3,000 trades. So if you can sit in your hands and wait for those plums of opportunity to come along, then emotionally the uh, business becomes an awful lot easier. But uh, mm -hmm. doing nothing, as I keep preaching to the VectorVest people, doing nothing is much, much more difficult than it would seem. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, 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 so uh, now, where what I spoke to Tom about ten or thirteen years ago came from uh, came from uh, a course that I did in gambling. Believe it or not, it was a it was called a, a Vegas MBA, and the chap who was running it. Uh, said that if you can look Vegas straight in the eye, well, uh, making money in business is going to be a piece of cake. So uh, we went <laughs> off to Vegas for two weeks uh, to gamble and to learn how to gamble professionally. It was great fun. It really was great fun. Uh, on the roulette wheel, as you know, there are red and black, the same number of reds and blacks. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a little white ball. In England, we've only got one white ball. I believe you've got two across there. Uh, so, and that's the house edge, that's the spread. Mm -hmm. But if you stand at that roulette wheel and you have a quick look, you'll see that there's long runs of blacks and long runs of reds. Exactly what I've just tried to show in this particular slide. Hey, Dave, stay with us here for one second. We've got to take a break, okay, my friend? Thank you. You bet. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with uh, Dr. David Paul. Uh, you want to continue on about the uh, Las Vegas experiment, Dr. Dave? Yes, yeah, sure, Larry, and it's very kind of you to play Land of Hope and Glory just for me there, sir. I was very kind. Of you. Uh, so, I, <laughs> hey, hey, Dave, I wanted to ask you, uh, since we were late getting on today, could you come on next week, maybe uh, on one day, this, uh, you know, for, for, so we can talk about that uh, heads tails experiment that I really enjoyed so much. Uh, yeah, by UK? all means, by all means, okay, it'd be a let pleasure. Me know what day, let me let me know what day fits in. Go ahead and continue, please. All right. Well, uh, uh, the clusters are real, folks. And the first thing about the clusters is you've got to, in fact, live through. And that's a trading record of one of the, the best traders I know in the city of London. He, he manages billions uh, of uh, pounds. And as you can see, uh, at least I hope you can see, uh, long runs of greens. And then you've got a few reds. He's got a 66% hit rate, this guy. Uh, makes a lot of money, trades huge positions. Uh, in uh, bonds, uh, stock indices, oil, and gold. Uh, and he's up 42% with a huge account. Uh, that was till we did our seminar together. Uh, so the first thing about the clusters is to get through them mathematically, that you don't go broke in them. Uh, and of course, the second thing about the clusters is to try and get your way through them emotionally, putting your trading system into practice perfectly. After three or four bad ones, uh, it takes a great deal of what I call, Larry, testicular fortitude, uh, sir. Uh, so 50% um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, hit rate is good, and I don't care what methodology you've got, folks. Every now and then, that market's just going to go in to a complete knot, and you'll be lucky if you get a 50% uh, hit rate. So uh, this uh, is... Uh, what, how Tom and I uh, got started in this, folks. Uh, if you look at a Martingale system, uh, which uh, is a system every time you win, uh, you put the same bet on. So if you're playing roulette and you win, a t you put a $10 bet on red and you win, you get $10 and you put the same bet on. Uh, if you gotta, hey, Dave, we've got to yeah. we got to leave now and time's up, and we'll get you next week, okay? And continue on. This is really great stuff, Dave. Thank you All so right. much. You bet. Cheers, Dr. Larry. David care, Paul from, you bet, from the UK. We'll be back with him next week. See you all tomorrow, folks.